human models for example human modeling we would so modeling show you might have known about it and uh, here if you take down this modeling without the simulation modeling is not possible simulation is the imitation of a situation or a process you may know that what is simulation simulation is the imitation of a situation or a process as a teacher uh, you might uh, you may be aware of the word of micro teaching because you are going to be a teacher in future the future teachers have to get a training in uh, micro teaching micro teaching is known as a social simulation so before entering into the word of molecular modeling you should be aware of the word simulation as well as modeling uh, you take down this is an uh, example for modeling clay modeling okay clay modeling is uh, seen here is uh, shown here clay modeling this is the model to represent the lungs human lungs clay model these two are clay models so remember that modeling is used to imitate something that imitation is known as actual imitation of a process is known as simulation don't confuse the word simulation with the stimulation stimulation can be spelled like that s t i m u l a t i o n t i o n there a simulation as t will be cut off here s i m u l a t i o n simulation stimulation is nothing but inducing simulation is imitation of a process okay now you try to understand the concept of molecular modeling molecular modeling is a technique for deriving representing and manipulating the structures and the reactions of molecules and those properties that are dependent on these three dimensional structures so molecular modeling uh, can be represented using the word molecular graphics molecular visualizations computational chemistry or computational quantum chemistry so all this word uh, are the similar words to molecular modeling in simple you have to remember that in molecular modeling what we are going to do and uh, as i said earlier it is a modeling process all the molecules are combined and uh, they can be modeled the reaction can be modeled using computer why we have to do so by doing so we may reduce the cost of chemical reaction or cost of the uh, conducting that reaction so the whole cost of reactions can be controlled can be minimized number 2 instead of wasting more uh, human power and we may do everything modeling can be done in the computer itself using a computer software using the simulation technique we can do that so by doing so and we may go with the specific design because everything is uh, and uh, it is ruled out all this kind of wastage is ruled out using a computer software so in simple we may remember that molecular modeling allows us to do and to teach chemistry in a better way by providing better tools of investigation interpreting explaining discovering and discovering a new phenomenon by doing molecular model we may reduce the human power we may reduce the cost of the reaction and we may reduce the cost of chemical usage of chemicals so that i would say that the molecular modeling is a green chemical process because we are using computational or computers for this process after that when you design a particular uh, model it can be checked or it can be experimented in the computer uh, sorry it can be experimented 
and that design will be adopted for drug design. Okay, so in that way, molecular modeling is important. That is needed. When you go with this importance of molecular modeling, it has become a valuable and essential tool in the drug design process. Molecular modeling describes the generation, manipulation, or representation of three dimensional structures of molecules and associated physico chemical properties. So, we may recapitulate what we have studied today. So, we studied about uh, four words that is, we studied about simulation. Simulation is the imitation of a situation or a process, and uh, modeling is the representation of concept or process. Molecular modeling is a computer based means of representing visualizing and investigating the three dimensional structures and related properties of molecules. Molecular modeling has become a valuable and essential tool in the drug design process. Now you may have this question in the mind. Are molecular modeling and experimental chemistry same? Answer is simple. No. Why? When you take down molecular modeling, uh, we are doing all kind of theoretical combination using the computer. It is not practically checked. Then why we have to use molecular modeling? To uh, save the money, to save the human power, to save the chemicals. In such a way, to save the environment, we have to go for molecular modeling. So, molecular modeling is purely a theoretical concept, whereas, and we may go with a precise kind of calculation using molecular modeling with the help of computer software. Later, when you select a particular model and when you say OK for a particular molecular modeling using this computer software, that kind of modeling will be checked using experimental chemistry. In that way, experimental chemistry is needed to do or to calculate or to do the experiment in a practical way. But molecular modeling is a theoretical one. But uh, it may give us a precise theoretical concept using computer software. There are four stages, uh, I'm sorry, there are three stages involved in molecular modeling. One is selecting a suitable model to describe intra and intermolecular interactions in the system. So, Selection of a suitable model is important and will be done in the first step. In the second step, we have to do the calculation, performing the calculation. In the third step, we may analyze the results and that result, based on that results, we may go for experimental chemistry just to check with the particular molecular modeling design then that design will be accepted for drug design. The following concepts are involved in molecular modeling. When you take down molecular modeling, these are the important concepts, coordinate the system. You might have known about coordinate geometry. So when you look at a particular molecule, we need that three-dimensional property. For that, we have to add a coordination system in that. Coordinate, uh, we would say, um, that coordinate geometry we need. Second one is potential energy surface of that molecule. Which molecule surface has potential energy? To study that, we need a molecular graphics. Then we have to study about molecular surface and accessible surface. That means that molecular surface would be, uh, for example, 100, 100 percentage molecular surface. 
in certain occasion accessible subways for the reactions can be 25 percentage all these concepts should be clear to adopt molecular modeling for drug design then finally all these things have to be processed using computer hardware and the software okay then finally uh, to do that in a proper way we need a good internet resource without a fast internet it is not possible to go with this molecular modeling so we need internet resources also so we may conclude like that for doing a molecular modeling uh, in the drug design definitely these systems are needed coordinate system these elements are needed coordinate systems okay, potential energy surface molecular graphics the accessible surface the knowledge uh, and the use of hardware and software internet resources so in this class we studied about the concept of basic concept of molecular modeling simulation modeling and the basic concepts involved in molecular modeling thank you